Okay, folks, uh, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial video. Uh, I've been asked quite a few times, how do you set up shared cockpit flights in both FSX and FSX uh, Steam Edition? Uh, I am not aware that Prepared offers that. Uh, I thought I heard somewhere that they do now offer shared cockpit. I'm not sure. I cannot confirm or deny that. Maybe someone that uses Prepared 3D can uh, make a comment on this video and let us know if, in fact, you can uh, do shared cockpit in Prepared. But anyways, today I'll be using FSX Steam Edition. And I'm not actually setting up a shared cockpit, I'm just showing you the process of how to get it done. So, first things first, let's go ahead and launch up FSX. I uninstalled Ultimate Traffic 2 recently, and uh, I can't get that window to stop popping up every time I start Flight Sim now. So, okay, once FSX loads up, what you want to do is go right here to Multiplayer. We'll click on Multiplayer, you want to do Internet and Steam. Now you can use local network and LAN if you have something like Hamachi or Tongle, something like that. Uh, but for the most part I use Steam Internet. Hit sign in. Once it signs you in, what you want to do at this point now is you want to host a session if you are going to be the one actually running the server that you're going to play on. Okay, I'll do this and then I'll show you uh, how to connect and start that. So, anyways, the host is going to click on host session. Uh, this is one of the VAs I fly for. I put that in there. You can put whatever you want your session name to be. Uh, instance, your server name. So, you just type that in there categories if you want people to see what kind of category whether it's bush flying free flight do whatever that's usually what I put um, if you want a password put it there confirm it there if you want a description put it in there like so and then down here if you want to make it visible like you just saw the list of servers on the previous page if you want that just keep both these checked if you want it private, check that. But if you're going to make it private, no one's going to be able to share cockpit with you, so make sure you set it on visible. Hit next. In here, you're going to pick your aircraft, weather, location, time. Hit next. Uh, the maximum number of players you want in your server. By default, I always just leave it at 8 because we don't really have many that come in and, and do shared cockpit. Now remember, you can only have two players to a plane, so you can only have a captain and a first officer. Unfortunately, it does not allow us to do jump seats or anything like that, sadly enough. Okay. Uh, voice communication, I highly recommend you disable that, because if you use anything like TeamSpeak or Skype, you're going to hear double. Now, if you don't run that, but you want to hear and communicate with your first officer and captain, and you do not use TeamSpeak or Skype, then you'd want to check that so you can talk and hear each other. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here is when you're setting up, if you're going to have someone join your aircraft, then you want to make sure you check this right here. Share my aircraft and the person joining your aircraft wants to make sure they do not check that. Only one of you needs to check that, the other one does not. If both of you check it, it's not going to allow you to join the other player's aircraft. Okay, so I recommend the host clicking share my aircraft and the one joining you does not click it. Okay, once you do that, you'll hit next. The server is going to start and connect. Okay, 
Now, right up here in this box on the top right hand side it says share aircraft. When someone joins your aircraft it's going to give their player name in here and it's going to say, you know, they're in your aircraft or whatever. Or is sharing your aircraft. Now make sure when someone is joining your aircraft, do not, and I repeat, do not start the server until they are ready. Okay, and they have to click on all the pages like we went through and actually hit fly and it's going to say waiting for host. Okay, when they get to that point it tells them waiting for host, then and only then do you want to hit fly now and during the loading process on both players make sure you do not press buttons in the cockpit or on your keyboard or your joystick or whatever do not press anything until both of you are loaded in and see the aircraft the reason for that is if you start messing with anything before the other person is loaded in it's going to throw it off sync and it will not function properly so you have to wait until both of you are successfully in the aircraft and seeing the aircraft and then make sure you are actually connected properly by having one of you flip a switch and see if the other one can see it now all aircraft do not work in this now PMDG does not work properly you can join the plane and ride along but you will not be able to see the gauges properly or anything like that but you can at least ride with somebody in it um, the PMDG 747 actually works pretty well. I've flown that one before. Uh, I have not tested the iFly 747 yet. I'm assuming it works well. I have not tested it. I've heard that it works from what I can remember. Um, all CLS products work just fine. Um, I have not tested the Aerosoft A320 or 19 yet, so I can't tell you that. Um, all midware payware, you know, mid-level payware works pretty good. Uh, and low level obviously works great. Um, all Carinado planes work uh, from what I could tell. Uh, A2A works. Um, the Q400 from Majestic uh, does not really work too good. You can ride along but once again you're going to have the same problem as the NGX with the gauges not syncing properly and things like that and you may get a little desync when you're landing but for the most part it, it's especially good for Carinado, A2A, anything like GA roll or uh, um, Carinado's business jets like the Hawker and the, and the um, Citation 2 I own them both, they're terrific planes um, and helicopters are also good shared cockpit, that's a lot of fun go take some helicopter tours around the Hawaiian Islands the Melvis 737-200 works beautifully in shared cockpit. Uh, most aircraft do work pretty well. I have not tested the PMDG 777. I cannot tell you if that works, nor have I tested the MD-11. So the only one I've personally tested in shared cockpit was the 747 and the NGX. And the NGX, has, does, from what I remember, has a slight problem. So that is how you would do that. Now I'm going to close the session and I'm going to show you as a player how you can connect to a server in somebody else's aircraft. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to join, you're going to click on the server that whoever is hosting set up so I'm just going to click on one of these since I can't join my own server. Okay, so we're going to attempt to connect to the server. It's connected, so on and so forth. So this is what the player that's going to join you is going to see. Okay, so you're going to select the role as a pilot. Select your aircraft here. ATC name if you have one. And make sure if the host has their aircraft share my aircraft box checked make sure you uncheck yours or you will not be able to join okay um, then you would select an airport not in the air and not near it. you want to select at an airport of my choice and make sure you select the airport and the same gate that the host is at that you're going to be sharing the aircraft so it syncs you up well Okay, once you do that, hit OK. 
and then as you can see down here there is a slot right here that says join aircraft now when you're joining somebody's aircraft you have to make sure you have the exact model ie CLS Carinado whatever or the maker the model so citation 2 and you don't necessarily have to have the same paint but I recommend doing it but you don't have to and make sure you, you're just matched up with the model and maker once you do that you can press join aircraft once you hit join aircraft and this guy's got a password so we can't join his but normally when you would hit join aircraft it would say you're you know joined and whatever and then you would hit join and if the server is already up uh, then you would be wait uh, you would join right in um, which you don't want to do you want to wait for the server host or the host wants to wait for you I mean so join the hit join server it's gonna say waiting for host once you tell the host hey I'm in your plane I'm ready to go he's gonna join this or start the server and you guys are gonna load in once again when you're loading make sure you're not pressing anything uh, on your keyboard your mouse joystick rudder pedals throttle quadrant whatever don't press anything and then once you're in the plane if you load in first don't press anything until that host or that other player says hey I'm in okay and then you know once you guys confirm that you're both in the aircraft and can see the aircraft then go ahead and start um, that pretty much is all there is to it uh, there is one more thing I want to talk to you about if let's say someone has a server up already and they have the box to share their aircraft checked and they're flying around hypothetically in the HUA 172 what you can do is if you want to join them you can join the exact same way as I showed you but the only difference is when you're in GA aircraft you can actually join a player's aircraft midair you don't have to actually start the server at the same time the only time you want to do that is when you're in commercial planes or uh, high quality planes ie being the quality wing 757 which is not really high quality that's more low to mid level um, by the way the quality wing 75 works beautifully I've used it also the just flight DC 8 I've used that the 71 version uh, or 73 version I've used that shared cockpit work phenomenally well um, or phenomenally uh, so it's really a trial and error and sometimes when you guys both load in at the same time you'll get errors saying uh, the controls aren't synced properly or whatever just hit continue most of the time they are synced properly but it gives you that error for some reason I don't know why but it still works good um, and a lot of payware planes remember you may have to program your own FMC on your end so the both of you may have to program the FMC so you know don't worry if you have to do that it's not a big deal as long as you guys program the FMC and the route to be the exact same you guys will be seeing it perfectly so well I hope this video has helped you in some way um, I know it has or can be kinda confusing I do apologize I'm very tired uh, but I did tell a friend of mine that I would go ahead and make this video today so I, ho I hope you like it and if you have any questions any comments video requests anything just shoot me a message on YouTube or reply in the below the video I'll, I'll get back to you and I'll definitely do the video it may take some, take me a couple of weeks but I will definitely get it done for you so anyways hope this helped you Captain Walton don't be afraid to hit that subscribe and like button come back and see us next time